Here's a really nice tip. If you have already started to work with a sequence, you're going to want to do versions of the edit so you can roll back. I've got this particular uh, edit over here. Let's take a look here. And you can see I've already rendered certain portions of this. Do you know what? I might actually go and change my settings, which were last set up to no longer use the GPU. I might go turn that back on and then keep whatever previews I've already made. So now I've got uh, more, well, I don't have any red segments at the moment because I'm using um, GPU accelerated effects. Now in here, I've already done some work and I want to keep using this, but I just want to version this down. So let's say I want to trim down certain portions of this. What I would suggest you do is reveal where this is. So the sequence itself, you go to the flyout menu, you can reveal the sequence in the project. And then it will be highlighted over here. So let me just highlight a clip just so we know that when I hit this button, it does go and highlight the actual sequence itself. If you right click on here, you can then go and duplicate that particular clip. And then if you select the name, it will go into edit mode and then change this to V2. Make sure that you double click on it to open it up and to be sure that you're not accidentally working on the wrong version, what I suggest you do is make sure you've got the correct new version open, go into the flyout menu, and then go to close other timeline panels. Now you know that the only sequence you've got open is the one that you're doing the next version of, or the next pass.